Welcome to IFS Insider Videos. My name is Jerry Browning and I'm the Product Manager for Enterprise Asset Management at IFS. Today we're going to demonstrate one of our new features for IFS Cloud 21 R2 called Ad Hoc Work Reporting. Ad Hoc Work Reporting is a tool designed for the end user to be able to create and walk through a work order from start to finish, including required fields, attachments, measurements, and time, as well as material issues and returns. It allows the user to select which status to leave the work order and work task in upon completion. With the IFS Page Designer tool, the walkthrough can be configured to only show fields that are pertinent and make fields mandatory for better reporting KPIs. We hope to build on this foundation to make the best user experience on the market leveraging workflow configuration, equipment data collection, machine learning, or IoT connector to enhance the end user's experience as they report their work. Okay, so you can find this feature in the maintenance folder under work management, execution, where the link to ad hoc work reporting resides. So let's quickly walk through an ad hoc work report. We'll just say repairs required for the directive. We'll enter a work type of corrective. Select mold temperature controller 1 as our equipment object. Next, we'll go to the fault description section. We can pick a symptom, discovery, class ID. We'll say the fault description is low pressure alarm and water leaking. We could add attachments if we wish. Next, it takes us to our measurements page. We'll add 598. Let's go to Performed Work. We'll put Normal Wear for a fault type. We'll ignore the cause and cause details right now. We'll say we rebuilt the water pump as the work performed. Task duration, 3 hours. Notice how it set the time back from the actual finish from right now when we're reporting it to three hours earlier. We can change the task status to when we finish this ad hoc work report. It can leave it in one of these four different statuses. That takes us to our time and expenses. We won't put an expense in here for now, but if we click the slider, that will open. Notice it defaults the time of the work order in and the user, which is me. I'll go ahead and accept what's in there. I could change it if I wish. Or I could add an additional user. And last but not least, let's go to materials. In here, we'll go ahead and open up the parts to issue section so we can see what we put in here. We'll say all inventory parts and we're taking it from all warehouses. Our part number in here, we'll select the rebuild kit SP2 and that quantity to issue one and we'll add our part to issue once we finish this section which will finish the work order and work task it'll automatically issue the parts that we have in here and that takes us to our screen where we can see this work order and task were created in the status of reported we can go look at it in the retrospective work reporting tool or in the execute work order task this concludes our demonstration on ad hoc work reporting. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.